It is the morning of day two, and I'm here at the subway trailhead. Uh, I'm gonna be lugging my eight by 10 back into the canyon today. This is one of two hikes to subway I'll be doing on this trip. And I really gotta say, my my pack is pretty ridiculous today. I've got two eight by 10 lenses, the camera, the tripod, total of four film holders, uh, cause I have two different films I'm shooting. I have no clue how much the pack weighs, but when you see it, it's, it, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but there's some shots back in there that I've been trying to get for the past few trips. I haven't succeeded yet. I'm um, hoping I'll be able to pull it off this time, but I really won't know until I get the film back from the lab. The trail starts by wandering through this grove of juniper trees here. And it can definitely be a bit disorienting if you don't keep your eyes on the trail at all times. There's also uh, a couple different washes that can be easily lost to try to find the other side on. It's a little bit of color in the sky already. It started a long day. I have reached the bottom of the canyon now and got the stream behind me and this is what it normally looks like. When I was here in May, it was a raging river and that was a little crazy. You also see that there's some fall color back there. A lot of the trees seem to have already peaked, though there are some of the younger ones are very green right now. Um, I wasn't really planning on shooting the fall color right now. Back in here, I was just gonna shoot subway. But there might be some great opportunities to shoot along the way. First dream crossing of the day. My feet didn't even get wet on that one. Nice. Those are my favorite areas on this hike. These are dinosaur footprints that are on this big slab of some sort of mudstone. You can see they're just walking all over the place, millions and millions of years ago. And here's my hand just for a size reference. Pretty good sized critters. Don't think I'd want to run into one of those guys on the trail. Absolutely beautiful stretch of trail here. Absolutely gorgeous color. We're getting near the first set of cascades. Things is getting closer. Beautiful reflections in here. Now I'm over near the crack, which is a really great area for photographers. There's this crack in the sandstone that you can photograph. Uh, all the water just gets funneled right through it. You can see right over my shoulder there. Uh, when I was here last year, the water levels were so high that I couldn't even walk out this far. Uh, I'm very close to the actual subway area, but when I got this far, I had to turn around and go back. So it's really nice to be here in the fall because the water levels are lower, plus all the beautiful leaves on the ground. I'm now here at Subway Proper. This is just a very surreal place. Look behind me here, you can see the actual subway formation. 
the light reflecting off the back wall there. It's like a tube. Uh, these emerald green pools are really interesting. And then, of course, the water flowing through the whole thing. I've been here three times before, and I've yet to walk away with a shot that I really enjoy. Uh, it's really difficult to shoot on large format. The 8x10 in particular, the ground glass is so dark, you really can't even see what the composition is. Ah. <laughs> we'll see what happens this time, but I do know I'll be back here again in six days. The other thing about Subway is that it's pretty much wet everywhere. There's very, very few areas of the high ground. I did find one little embankment of sand here and built a little platform with some wood in order to keep my bag off the water. I don't know how it'll work, but I think it's better than nothing. Now I'm hiking out of the subway area. I already took my shots. I took probably about four shots between the Ektar 100 and the Velvia 100. And I'm not quite sure what to expect, though I'm pretty confident in the metering. Now it's time for a long hike back to the car. Then dinner. It'll probably be dark by the time I get back. There's still quite a ways. Now back to the area just at the base of that big climb to get back to the top of the mesa. And a little bit cruel when you know that at the end of this long, really physically uh, demanding day that you still have to face a really steep climb up to the top. But I do know that once I get back to camp, get some dinner, sleep off like a baby sleeping on the ground, it'll be wonderful. Uh, tomorrow heading out to the Narrows, scouting out more than anything, but it would be nice if I can come away with something. <sighs> it's been a good day.